and you'll never believe it. I found, they're not in the right place, but I found only two more left. So here's what they are. They're 27, 21 Sylvania bulbs. I'm not sure if this is like, focus. I'm not sure if this is like white or if it's like a cream color, but this better fucking work. That's all I know. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna order LED lights online that are like either blue, green, or white. I'm not sure. All right, I'm really on a time crunch, but here are the three or six bulbs. This is the pack I had already. It's why it's opened up. It's uh, I just put it in to see if it fit in the socket, and it does. So we got two screws, one right here and one where you at right here. Obviously, I can't I can't fit the screwdriver in there. It's too kind of it's too big to wedge in the corner. So I'm gonna use a multi tool, and it has a Phillips head on this side, I think. This one works perfectly. It just kind of you shove it in there and you just unscrew it. So. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so we're gonna shove these into just a little storage space right here so I don't lose them. And uh, to pop out the dash right here, you're gonna just wanna pull it open, but I don't have a tool to kinda stick it underneath here to pop it out, so I'm gonna use this little iPhone tool that you use to pop out the battery. There's, I'm sorry, you use it to pop out the screen on like an old iPhone 4 or 5S. And you just kind of open it up like that. So let's do the other So you can see this kind of just pops out just like that. And that's it, it's two screws, literally a pop out. Then you have a screw here, a screw here, and a screw on this side as well. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we can use a big screwdriver now, like a regular sized one. And I'm just gonna separate the screws in a little storage compartment so that they don't get lost. So here we go. Now all you want to do when you pop out the dashboard is there's two clips in there that uh, I think they connect to the, one is the climate control and the other one is for the fuel tank I believe or the radio, I don't fucking know. There's two clips in there, you want to undo them because there's a bunch of wires in there and you don't want the stuff to get damaged, that's all. So you can kind of grab the rest of that with our hand. So here's what the other screw looks like. It's a little bit different. so. It will be pretty easy to tell which is which, even if you don't separate them. Okay, and then now, here's what we're doing. So, there was a screw here, and a screw over there, and there's one up, I don't know if you can see it, there's one up here on the top. And then, once that's done, you just pop out the dash, comes out as one piece. So let's get that screw out right about now. Not the best camera angle, I realize that, I apologize. I think you can use the regular screwdriver for this, but this particular one I have is really, really fat. So, just gonna use a little multi-tool thing. Swiss, whatever you wanna call it, Swiss tool, I don't know. Whatever the fuck. All right. So, in here I have my screws separated, and we're just gonna pop out the dash. So, it just comes out like this. And you can see in the back, there's a clip there. See, look, there's a clip there and a clip there. They're little tabs, you pull them off. So let me try to get that while showing you this. This is kind of hard because I can't really sit the camera down. All right, back to the old angle, I'm sorry. You should probably be able to see it though. Let me just see if I can focus the camera. All right. So we're gonna try to pop it out on the sides. Now you have some leeway. You just, so here we go, you're gonna wanna take it out like that. Pop it forward, okay? These tabs are a pain in the ass, so just wiggle them first. Don't just try to, don't try to just yank them out because you're probably gonna hurt your fingers. There you go. Wiggle them out slowly, especially if it's been a while since uh, you, you've taken apart the dash or the, the dash has even been taken apart. Hang on. 
This one's coming out really slowly. There we go. All right, so now we have the dashboard out, okay? Now, if you're wondering why um, I know how to do this, I know how to do this because I've done it before and I fucked up because I didn't have the right light bulbs. I bought these from eBay and they're too big. The base doesn't clip into the socket. So let me just put these back in here. So on the back you have, I don't know, I want to say like what, 11 bulbs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 sockets, okay? Now you obviously want to make sure that you change the ones that need to be changed. So up until here, I can see everything. So I'm pretty sure I have to change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fuck, I need seven bulbs. All right, so I'm gonna try to change these three right here and then these three as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and hopefully that works. And I also, are you kidding me? There's actually a socket missing right here. I'm gonna, this is gonna be really, this is gonna be some hack job shit, watch. All right, so all you gotta do is really, it's a twist and you insert the socket. So here we go, these are the burnt out bulbs. And we're gonna change them like this. Let me just set you down right here. You just don't wanna mix up the bulbs. So what you're gonna do is you need a thumbtack, fuck me. You need a thumbtack to pop out the little light bulb. I'm gonna go get one of those right now because I don't have it. Last time it was actually really dirty in there, especially like on the bottom parts and I wiped it down a little bit, trying to keep the car as clean as possible. All right, so all you really do is you pop it out like this, you slide it into the, let's see if I can show you, you slide it into that little crevice and you just kinda pop it out like this. You dig it in there and you kinda just raise it up and it knocks it out a little bit because it clips in there. So obviously you wanna make sure that you put the old light bulbs to the side and you wanna make sure you grab the new one, obviously, and put them in. So what you're doing, so the new ones are supposed to be able to clip in like this. You just snap them in and then, oh, they do pop back, back out. That's weird. You're supposed to, okay, well, whatever. These snap in is what I'm trying to tell you. So these snap in and you see they don't really come out unless you really force it out. So that's all you gotta do. You just snap them in and that's why the other ones wouldn't fit. Not only were they a little bit bigger, but the base on the bottom wouldn't flip into the socket. So all you're gonna do next is you're just gonna put it in like that and just kind of just kind of twist it and then it's going to be so I replaced this one I replaced this one apparently this one is still missing I don't I thought I maybe had it in the house but I don't whoever did this job last time or tried to change something they fucked up but we're going to change this one this one this one and this one all right so now we got them all in everything's good to go now you're just going to want to make sure that you plug both of the things in and it's color coded so you can't really forget which goes where. The green obviously goes here and the blue goes here. So blue's all the way on the left. Snap that in first. Um, if it wants to, there we go. It wouldn't snap in there. All right, now I take the green, put the green in this biatch. All right, they're snapped in. Now what we kind of have to do is kind of just wedge kind of in the way, like it's easier to pull out than it is to put in. Ha! <laughs> um, okay. okay, I see what I did wrong, I fucked up. Let's put the, put the fucking blue tab back in, make sure it clicks in, and where's the green one? Put the green one back in, make sure that little fucking, that one's actually easier. So I just need to kind of pull it out enough to where the fucking, steering wheel's in the fucking way, that's the problem right now. You can't push it down any lower, I already have it to the lowest setting. Honestly, if I had a removable fucking wheel, this would be way better. So, there we go. You just kind of hack it in there. Just make sure you don't rip or anything and make sure you kind of tuck the wires in there nicely. And then it's gonna sit back where it was originally. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the little screws back in there and let me just show you. So, the screw, let me zoom in on that bitch. Screw goes right in the little hole right here and then you just screw it in. It's literally that simple. Same thing for the other side. I usually just screw it in a little bit with my hand and then I, I use a screwdriver. Let's put this shit back together. Oh, and before you do, make sure, turn the car, don't turn it on. Just be careful, just turn the ignition a little bit and make sure the lights turn on. Oh no, fucking thing just smeared the bird shit. All right, it looks like we have light on the other side. We're good to go. All right, so we're putting this shit back in. The only thing, the only problem I have with this, 
The only problem I have with this is that it's gonna have like one little splotchy spot, if that makes any sense. Because, well first of all, turn the car up before you start screwing shit back in. But it's gonna have one weird spot because the, uh, the, the missing socket has no bulb and also there was one more bulb I probably should have replaced, but I didn't have another, like I, I didn't have a seventh bulb because unfortunately they only come with two in a pack and not three. Would've been dope if they came with three, but I guess they have to make money somehow, right? So here's all the old bulbs and the screws. We're just gonna toss those in a minute. I'm just gonna put this back together and show you at nighttime when it works. All right, so I, I think one of the hardest parts is honestly putting the shit back in, because you have to, Fuck me, I did scratch the fucking top of my column. <sighs> All right, that's what you don't want to do. Of course, I already fucking fucked this car up. What a surprise. Putting this shit back in is kind of a pain in the ass because you have to kind of squeeze it underneath the little dials for like the speedometer and stuff. But other than that, it's pretty simple. All right, I'm going to be honest. I lost a screw, okay? I lost this screw in the steering column and I'm not going to get it out. I don't really give a shit right now. Uh, I got this one in and this piece kind of snaps in um, as long as you put it all the way back So it doesn't wiggle anymore. It just really needs one out of two screws That's one of the things I like about Honda. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video I know it's kind of long, but uh, it's not really a long process I just wanted to show you kind of how to do it But um, hopefully you learned something or a thing or two I usually like watching install videos even if I'm not gonna install something It's it's good to have it out. If you guys did enjoy the video drop a like for more content like this subscribe to my channel and all my social media links are down below in the description if you want to follow me on there. I post some cool vlog stuff, uh, stuff like that. Just a bunch of cool car stuff and what I'm doing every day. If you're interested, go ahead and follow me on there. Until next video, guys. I'll see you then. Peace.